guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 15 eyeshadow palettes of 2020. So these are palettes I've tried in 2020 that made it to the top 15. So I'm going to break up this video. I normally do it in one big video, but instead I'm going to do my bottom 10 and then my top 15 because in total it was like 37 eyeshadows palettes but I kind of group some of them so it's really like 25 so I'm doing bottom 10 so look out for that video but this one is my top 15 I'm so excited so let's just get right into it I have a ton of palettes in front of me so and I have my little notes right here so number 15 is Juvia's Place Nubian 2 so if you were wondering, all of these are palettes I've tried this year. So um, the bottom 10 and then the top 15 are going to be all palettes I've tried this year. So Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. I absolutely love the color scheme of this. It is perfect for fall. It is like grungy fall dreams. But Juvia's Place mattes are not my favorite in this palette. I think they got better as they went with palettes. This was one of their first eyeshadow palettes. And... So these mattes aren't always dependable, but the shimmers in here are literally like gold. <laughs> they are so beautiful and I I reach for this palette a lot when I want to be grungy and I want to have beautiful shimmers and <laughs> this palette is just so gorgeous. I love the orange, purple, greenish, gold, green vibes. <laughs> I don't even know. Let me get my wipe out but I'm just so I'm just so thrilled with Juvia's Place I feel like I tried Juvia's Place in 28 or I'm sorry 2019 but this 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 year 2020 I totally went crazy with Juvia's Place I feel like I tried so much from them and this is definitely a standout for me but it is number 15 it's nothing crazy because the mattes are a little hard to work with sometimes but love this palette and love Juvia's Place. Next at number 14 is the Hip Dot Xeon palette from a BoxyCharm that I got recently maybe September and this was back actually very surprising. I do love the color scheme. It is like a purple pinky neutral moment and I do enjoy the color scheme. Um, I didn't rank it higher because there's a lot of neutrals here but the purples and the pinks are so beautiful and these mattes are so pigmented and so blendable. I just couldn't stand, I couldn't stand it. I reached for this a lot recently and these purples are my favorite in the palette, but the shimmers for me are just a little deeper and not as, not as fun. So I had to rank it a little lower cause I don't, I'm not like crazy about the shimmers. At least the color choice of the shimmers are not my favorite, but yeah, this is a beautiful palette and I really, I think I love this palette mostly for the mattes, but the color scheme is really cute and I just really loved the formula here, so love this one. Alright, number 13 is the Spanglish Alamar Cosmetics palette. I love Alamar Cosmetics. I tried them out this year and it was amazing. I love a lot of their face products and stuff, but this is the first eyeshadow palette I've tried from them and I really enjoy it. It is new, so I didn't rank it higher just because I've only used it once or twice so far, but the mattes are beautiful and so pigmented. Like, look at this pink and the shimmers. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. And I really enjoy the color scheme. I feel like it's not my perfect, like look at that matte, it's not my perfect color scheme, but it is gorgeous, it's like that pinky purple vibe that I really enjoy, um, I don't know, I feel like I would, if it was my perfect color scheme, I'd include some purple mattes or something, but I do really enjoy this palette, and I had to rank it pretty high, but it's not as high as my other ones, just because I haven't gotten crazy amounts of use of it, and... You know, I'm still getting to know this palette, but I do really enjoy it so far, and I think the vibe of it is really, just really cute, and I love all of our cosmetics. Everything I've tried from them, I've loved, so gotta hand it to them for that. Um, number 12 is actually my Violet Voss Essentials palettes. So this is two palettes, but I'm including it as one because they are kind of like the same type of, you know, they're essentials and their violet both violet boss so 
I got this one as a gift for joining BoxyCharm and I absolutely loved the formula right when I tried it. I've never tried Violet Voss before this year, but the neutrals, the pinky purples, and then these color, this colorful shade, and then the black and the inner corner shade, it's just a perfect, it really is your essential palette. And I really enjoyed the formula. I really, the mattes are so buttery and the shimmers are gorgeous. So I really, really was pleasantly surprised with this one. I reached for it way more than I thought I would. And then I got the Essentials 2 in another boxy charm over the summer and um, it has purple and blues which I was so excited to see them reach out into some more colorful shades because this year has been a really colorful year for me. I rarely reached into neutrals and I'm always trying to do some color, something colorful. So I love this one as well. So this had to be high-ish up there. It was my number 12. But really, really liking Violet Voss's formula based on these two palettes that I've tried. Number 11 was a very awesome surprise favorite. It is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. I have a ton here. Um, I actually did just get the green one, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll let you know how I feel about that one. But here is the very bad one. And the mattes in here are not my absolute favorite mattes. So I couldn't rank this higher. But the shimmers here for $3. They are such good shimmers. And you know this, this was like I think a highlight of 2020. I feel like everybody was buying these and trying these. $3 for 4 shades. And the shimmers are outstanding. Like... You can't beat it so I had to include it pretty high I hate the mattes in rose water but the shimmers in here are gorgeous so it's it's yeah it's hard this one's great I love truffles I love pumpkin pie I love the mattes in here and the shimmers in pumpkin pie but again the mattes are just not as consistent I used up this whole shade from the cream and sugar one and this is like the perfect inner corner shade it's just Look at that dip I have in there. I absolutely love these little guys and so this had to be number 11 and I totally would recommend these. I just think they're not my perfect. They're, they're cute, they're little, they're perfect, but the mattes are not always my favorite so I had to include it lower. But um, yeah, love these, love these. Okay, now we are in the top 10. Oh my gosh, so top, number 10 is my Ace Beauté palette. I tried Ace Beauté for the first time this year, absolutely loved it. This is the Vintage Dawn palette. I tried this one first and it is like a little sunset dream and these shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are not always predictable. I feel like they are so pigmented, so beautiful, but they're just a little hard to work with sometimes. So I didn't rank it higher because of that, but the, I don't know, they're so, the mattes are just so pigmented and then the shimmers are just gorgeous so I definitely wanted to put it pretty high up there but yeah like doesn't even do it justice I promise it is a beautiful beautiful pigmented palette but yeah it's not my I think it's not my favorite formula but it is a good one nonetheless and then here is the oceanic and this one I'm loving but I only used it once or twice so far so I can't really rank it way high but this is a beautiful color scheme it's like a blue green dream and I absolutely love it so yep this is in my top 10 I love these and I'm so excited that I have some Ace Beauté palettes so love that we've got number nine this was such a surprise favorite this is the breakfast in bed beauty bakery little eyeshadow palette this is so good. First off, it's whole. the whole theme of it is comfy glam, and I think that's the theme of this year for me. I feel like, you know, with the virus and everything, I've been home. I've definitely been comfy, but I want to be glam as well. So I think I really enjoyed the theme of this palette, and it's just kind of like my everyday type of palette because it's pinky, purpley, burgundy tones. Not really pinky, I guess purpley burgundy tones and you have your shade that you use, that I use to set my concealer. You have an inner corner shade, you have beautiful shimmers, like, and the mattes are, they don't swatch well, but they are so beautiful as well. So like, let's see. 
like the shimmers are just gorgeous and the mattes are just you know really nice you can build them up but they're not they're not crazy pigmented but they really do the job and I just I love this guy I like have a big dip in pajamas and I just love the comfy glam vibes so this one ranked pretty high I just find myself reaching for it a lot so love this then we have um number eight is the magic mini from juvia's place this was like one of the first palettes i've tried um in the beginning of 2020 and it blew me away oh my goodness look at how beautiful it's like you know kind of neutral in here but mostly pinks and purples and blues and greens and Oh my gosh, the shimmers here are gorgeous. These two mattes up here, I absolutely hate. They are so patchy, so I couldn't rank this higher. I think I would have ranked it higher if I liked all the mattes, but these two mattes are terrible. These ones are good, but those two are so bad, so patchy that I can, and I've tried multiple times and I just can't. So I had to rank this lower, but it is so good. And my favorite shade I think ever is Faso in this palette. And the, the pinks are so beautiful. It's just insane. Oh my gosh. It's like a purple with a blue shimmer. I absolutely love that shade. So this is one of my favorites. I have to. I had to put it in my top 10. I just. Oh. It's just so beautiful. So I definitely recommend this. If you're looking for some pretty shimmers. Um, we have Sugar Pill Fun Size. This is such a cute little kitty on there and it's such a good palette oh my gosh this was my first introduction to pastels and neons and i feel like this really got my like colorful juices flowing and i absolutely love the yellow orange red pink blue green purple vibe it's just so perfect and so little and compact and i feel like i reach for it a ton i know you can't really tell but i did and love this so i had to rank this higher and this is my first time I tried color, uh, color pill, what? Sugar pill ever, so love that. And then, oh my gosh, here we go. Number six is the Glam Light Cake Palette. I don't always love, like, the food themes, but this was just so cute. And I just, I don't know, I think this was my introduction, my biggest introduction to color, and then I went, ooh, oh my goodness. I dropped it I dropped it <laughs> but we're all good nothing nothing cracked but this was my biggest introduction to rainbow palettes oh my god this is like the only rainbow palette I'll ever need it has your yellows orange pink blue everything and the formula is so amazing the mattes are just like so so pigmented and then the shimmers are just so incredibly beautiful and I just I love this palette I mean it just it's everything you need in a rainbow palette and I'm so I'm just so happy I have it in my collection so I had to rank this pretty high and I don't always reach for the rainbow vibes so that's why it's a little lower but when I need a certain type of rainbow look this is this is the one I reach for absolutely love it and then Okay, now we're in the top five. This is getting serious. Oh my gosh. So I have the So Jaded at number five. This is the Kathleen Lights ColourPop So Jaded palette. It is gem inspired, which I absolutely love. And I got this for my birthday and it is gorgeous. Like look at these shades. I don't love the two pressed glitters, but there's so much you can do with this palette. It is like a colorful dream. I mean, you have your neutrals, but you know, there's the yellow, the blues, the greens, and oh my gosh, there's just so many things. There's a Super Shock eyeshadow palette. Um, eyeshadow palette. <laughs> there's a Super Shock eyeshadow in the palette. So I'm just, I'm just loving this. Like, I feel like this is like my perfect everyday palette because you could do so much with it. And oh my gosh, the formula is great. I love ColourPop formula. So yeah, had to give it to this palette. Absolutely love it definitely a favorite and next number four we have my juvia's place mini eyeshadow palettes i have all seven. Oh my gosh this was like a impulse buy they had a huge summer sale they had so much so much 
discounted if you buy all seven and I did it and I'm crazy but I'm so glad I did because these are gorgeous here is the violets oh my gosh and in here the mats are in all of these the mats are so beautiful so I think Juvia's has totally gotten better with their mats the shimmers are again the beautiful Juvia shimmer formula this is the berries oh my gosh the sweet pinks I don't know which one is my favorite honestly I want to do a palette bingo let me know if you guys would be interested in that with all of these this shade is one of my favorites in the mauves one the nudes one I actually reach for all the time it's just oh my gosh this these are so beautiful and I had to rank them very high because the chocolates and taupes and even the neutral palettes like I absolutely love so love these and I feel like every single shade of these I absolutely love the mattes the shimmers um they're more like metallics than shimmers but I absolutely love these totally would recommend and I want to do more with them like more videos with them because they are so good and probably like one of my favorite additions of my collection in 2020 <laughs> like so good so good um, number three, another Juvia's Place, it is the Tribe palette. I got this for my birthday. I think I bought this for myself for my birthday. And this color scheme is so beautiful. And I love every single shade in this palette. And each shade is so unique and so beautiful. Like this blue, the greens, the gold. I'm just going to swatch these two. But you're, you cannot go wrong with this palette. Like I don't even know how to explain it to you but you I don't know if you can really tell with the swatch but like they are every single shade in this palette is so gorgeous and I feel like this color scheme is nothing I I've ever seen or I've ever had and even like even this gold even this brown are like they're total unique golds and browns like this orange I don't I have nothing like this this palette and these shades and it's just it's just such a gorgeous color scheme and I love every every shade and I love the mattes in here and I love the shimmers in here to death like it is such such a beautiful beautiful palette like I can't so good so good the love I have <laughs> the love I have for this top five like is intense okay number two is my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes Oh my gosh, I love these. Natasha Denona has a beautiful, beautiful formula. This is the Peak palette I got in my November BoxyCharm. This shimmer shade is gorgeous. Maybe I'll swatch over here. And then the mattes are just so pigmented and like blendable. I don't know if I, it's not even going to do it justice, but the, there it is. The shimmer is gorgeous and the mattes are so beautiful. And I know I said... I think I said I don't love neutrals. I've been more of a colorful lover, but colorful eyeshadow lover, but these, this is like my perfect little neutral palette because you have the brown, you have the pink, the perfect shimmer, and then, you know, it's just gorgeous. And these, the matte formula here is so buttery and pigmented, and then the shimmer is just so reflective and beautiful so I've been loving this guy and then I recently bought the cranberry palette on boxycharm pop-up and I'm actually wearing it today and I'm just oh my gosh I'm head over heels it's a newer palette to me but I think it's gonna become like one of my absolute favorite palettes so I had to rank it high the mattes are perfect and the shimmers are perfect and it's just everything everything I want in a palette I swear and the formula is perfect and I don't know it just feels luxury like I know these are expensive shadows but I feel like the shadows themselves feel luxury and they feel beautiful and perfect so <laughs> I had to I had to give it to Natasha for those two that is my number two and lastly lastly my number one what we've all been waiting for it is the Sydney Grays and Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels Little Bug Palette. First off, the packaging is gorgeous. I think it's so beautiful. But what's inside is really what counts, and that's beautiful. It is 
just such an amazing color scheme and I absolutely love every shade in here honestly every single shade and I just find myself constantly reaching for this palette and I that's why I realized it was my number one I got this towards the end of the summer but it is so so beautiful the mattes are so pigmented and buttery oh I'm running out of space I don't know why I'm swatching here but let me swatch some of my favorite shades we have the purple pastel look at that that's so pigmented for like a pastel shade this is uh, jewel B this is scarab this shade is like a duochrome oh you can't even tell it's like a green reddish duochrome and then we have fire butts which is like the most shimmery green metallic I just can't the the pigmentation of the shimmers and the mattes are just this palette is just out of this world and I feel like there's so much you can do with it like I don't know sometimes I do interesting color combos that I didn't expect to to love and I love it so this palette is my number one and I'm so excited I feel like all of the, these palettes that I've tried here are amazing and you know you might love things differently than I do so maybe you know maybe my number 15 is your number one or stuff like that but really I do recommend pretty much all I recommend all these palettes all the palettes in this video and it's just it's beautiful so I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video I've got swatches everywhere but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to see videos with any of these palettes because I would love to do a get ready with me or anything with them but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time have a great day bye